hey there how's it going welcome to loop learnings and this is video number 13 in this video we are going to um, carry on uh, the task for creating ui user interface and um, uh, we are creating we are working on payroll management system in case if you are new to my channel welcome to loop learnings and if you are returning to my channel welcome back and um, in this video we are going to create further user interface for example we will create incentive form today to capture and record the incentive for a fiscal year and fiscal month and we will create another form called location small form and um, these two forms we will create and we'll try to um, uh, get it um, uh, get this user interface uh, finish as quickly as possible so if you will see incentive form and by the way if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please go ahead and do that hit the bell icon so you get notification whenever i upload any video so if you will see the incentive table we have few fields um, uh, employee id type description uh, fiscal, fiscal year, fiscal month and amount these fields would be mandatory to have the information incentive ID created on status and updated on these fields uh, we will auto populate the data with the help of VBA so let's go ahead and uh, create form called incentive and so what are we going to do is i'm going to copy the existing form so perhaps i'm going to copy this form and i'm going to paste it and i'm going to call it incentive f all right now i'm going to go and click right click right click on that design view and what i'm going to do is if you will notice that most of these fields are exactly the same that we have got in the incentive table right so uh, except few so just to see which field is not the same what i'm going to do is link this form to its right table so because this form is created to capture the incentive information i'm going to link this form to the incentive table and to do that i'll go to the property sheet now if the property sheet is not visible click anywhere in the form and go to the properties okay now click on the corner and you are in the forms properties now if i'll go to the data tab i will see that this form is currently linked to a table called bonus but because this is incentive form i'm going to choose incentive table now the moment i do that i see two different um, green check boxes here or green indicators stating that hey uh, in this table incentive table these two fields does not exist so do something about it and for sure uh, we are going to do something about it and which means we are going to link these two fields individually to their respective fields in the incentive table and how do we do that it's very simple so you select the field and you go to the property sheet of the field again if you don't see this property sheet visible right click on that and in the top one go to the property sheet okay now because it was visible now it, it has gone invisible now it came back in the data source will uh, choose incentive id now the moment i select incentive id you will see that this green indicator will go away here we go so incentive id is gone now the best practice is that the moment you change the controls for source for any field or text field or any cover box or any other um, object make sure that you change the name of that field that means i will copy this control source and i will go to the other tab of the property sheet and i will paste it as a name right so that will also be changed the label would be changed as well so incentive id 
right rest everything is same so if i go to the bonus type uh, i go to the data tab and i can see here monthly annual and it is just different um, type of because that was bonus now i'm going to go to the control source and i'm going to change it to type okay now that red line oh sorry the green indicator has gone what i need to do is i need to change the name of this field as well okay here we go and instead of bonus type i will say incentive type mm -hmm. incentive type so now we can see that our this form is wired up with the table called incentive and all the fields in the incentive tables are linked to all the text boxes or combo boxes controls here in short so this is the benefit of you know designing the similar kind of backend so you get benefit of you know just changing few things and you are good to go like we did in this form right now uh, the the time that we have saved uh, just to avoid you know creating a new uh, everything from the scratch for this form what we will do is we will use that time to do the VBA coding all right so when I say VBA coding uh, we need to do a couple of things which means this save button is going to be used for the update update uh, operation or update action as well so to update the record first of all record must we must exist uh, or some record should be displayed on the form um, that's the condition we are going to uh, apply in the VP coding uh, the employee status has uh, not employee the record status has to be active in order to update the record else if we are creating a new record then few fields we are going to mark them as mandatory for example employee id type fiscal year fiscal month and amount these will become mandatory fields this means that uh, the uh, validation will be done for these fields whether there is a data in these fields or not okay so here also i see bonus i change it to incentive see when you're copying make sure that you uh, you know checking all of these just to avoid any uh, unprofessionalism by the way okay so go to the save button go to the event tab in the property sheet click on dot 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 i'm going to get rid of all the code because i want you to see the code from the scratch except this error handling code it is already there okay now let's start with uh, if is null me dot incentive id dot value is equal to true then to cmd dot beep message box this action cannot be performed as no record has been selected okay comma will be critical comma information else if me dot status dot value is equal to active then to cmd dot save to cmd dot beep message box the updates to the incentive information has been made vp information because this is a success and information now let's check each of these uh, controls one by one whether if they are empty or not if they are empty then throw a message box okay that's what we are going to do else if is null me dot 
empyd dot value is equal to true then to cmd dot peep message box please choose the employee from drop down list we be critical information and we set the focus as well okay so that is a let's go to the next one type so I'm going to copy that I'm going to paste in here and I'm going to type in type okay just change a little bit please choose the type from drop down here we go done let's go to the next one paste and FY next one is FY that is also a mandatory requirement please choose the fiscal year okay next one is the fiscal month so again I just copied that that's the benefit of copying right so whatever it's applicable wherever it is um, easier to copy then make sure that you copy just to save your time and last thing we need to check is whether the amount field is empty or not because that's very important right so amount we will set focus on that please provide the amount information to proceed further all right else now everything has been checked everything is checked so if it is everything is false then go ahead and save the record that means first we will auto populate created on status and updated on so me dot created on dot value is equal to now me dot status dot value is equal to active me dot updated on dot value is equal to now okay now once that is done next thing we'll do is to update the flow table remember that this is very very important flow table now it is used to capture every kind of transaction that we are creating so anything that is linked with the payroll for example for example incentive bonus leave um, um, medical general salary information all of that needs to be captured in this particular table so at the end of the month when we are clicking on hit run payroll then everything is fetched from one table that is the idea so we need to whenever we are creating any record related to incentive we need to replicate that information in the flow table and we will achieve that with the help of record sets to use record set first we will have to declare a variable so dim flow as uh, record set okay so that's the variable name now next we will go and we will actually um, update this table but we need to tell Microsoft Access that what does this flow means so that's what we will say set flow is equal to current db dot open record set and record set is technically the name of table or query so in this scenario we're using table as a reference for record set so we will give the name of this table flow t okay then now we will go we'll go and add a record okay add new now this created on is equal to this created on okay so flow exclamation mark created on is equal to me dot created on simple that's it next is category now what is this category this record which is going to be created what is the category this means 
the category reference uh, refers to earning or deduction there are two things right two elements mean in payroll whether something is being recorded as earning for the employee or something is being recorded as deduction for a specific employee so that we need to tell to microsoft access so in this case flow category is equal to earning all right next employee id so flow exclamation mark amp id is equal to me dot amp id dot column zero now what what why do i have given the zero column because in zero column zero the employee id resides that's why i have given zero and this is why it is asking give me the employee id next is the type what type of information it is so it is related to incentive so flow exclamation mark type is equal to incentive okay next is description so description would be incentive type so flow exclamation mark description is going to me dot uh, type okay next is fiscal year fiscal month and we copy that from here so flow exclamation mark fiscal fiscal year is equal to me dot fiscal year dot column zero so again whatever id resides in the column zero of the fiscal year that should be captured flow exclamation mark fiscal month is equal to me dot fm dot column zero okay next is amount so flow exclamation mark amount is equal to me dot amount status flow exclamation mark status is equal to active then updated on flow exclamation mark updated on is equal to now all right then after that we need to update the flow make sure that you once you're done with capturing or replicating the data in all the fields make sure that uh this table is also updated next is do cmd dot save to cmd dot beep message box the incentive uh, for the selected employee has been captured successfully okay comma vp information comma information and if all right that is it that's how you basically save it debug it okay no error that means everything is okay hopefully so that's how you save the information in the respective table and the other table which is called flow now i can't test it right now because uh, you know the the depend the dependencies information is not yet created created such as employee or fiscal year fiscal month etc these are required to create the record but hopefully this will work for sure we are going to test everything at some state during this series so that's fine okay now let's move on and let's look at the next table that we are going to create and that is locations table okay now location table has very few fields like one two three four four fields now let's copy the department table okay let's paste that and let's say location 
location F okay I'll go to that form right click on it design view and let's get rid of everything now let's uh, change the header or banner or whatever it is called uh, so instead of manage departments information it should be managed locations information now this form this table should be linked to the locations this form should be linked to the locations table here we go i'll go to the form design i'll go to the add existing field select all drag and drop right click layout stack home full black the font color go to arrange tab control padding narrow now i'm going to unselect these fields i'm going to right click oh sorry not i'm going to select only labels expand them a little bit press ctrl b to make them bold now do a little bit of formatting here okay cost center status okay now let's uh, expand this a little bit now location id status are not required to be updated manually by the user so let's make them enable no locked yes and let's make their background color a little grayish okay so that is done now let's do the VB coding for this form. So we'll go to the save button. We'll go to the event tab. Dot dot dot. I'm going to select all, everything except the error handling code. And on that I'm going to first of all I'm going to check if it is null me dot uh, location ID dot value is equal to true then to cmd dot beep message box this action cannot be performed as no record has been selected yet comma we be critical because this has a and uh, this is an error information then to update the record else if me dot status dot value is equal to active then to cmd dot beep message box uh, the updates to the location information has been made successfully comma vp information and information okay i hope that you are following me and all right next we need to check whether these two fields are empty or not if they are empty then throw an error and else if is null me dot location dot value is equal to true then to cmd dot beep message box please provide the name of the location okay we be critical information mirror location dot set focus okay we're going to copy the entire code block paste it and this time we'll check the cost center cost center we'll set the focus on that please provide the cost center of the location okay if everything is false then um, me dot status dot value is equal to active 
to cmd dot save to cmd dot p message box the location has successfully been created vp information and information and if that's it that's how you do it debug it save it let's go and maybe this this can be checked right this can be tested so let's say click on that this section cannot be performed no record is selected yet fine let's give a location name south sales department okay let's give cost center like south sales department dash e i'm <laughs> just just uh, giving a random information there we go that is done okay that's how you create it so folks in this video i've created two forms one is uh incentive so basically we created a form to capture the incentive information not only to its respective table but to another table called uh, flow and we happen to achieve that with the help of record sets and then we created a second form to create manage the information about locations so that's what we did i hope that it was useful i hope that you have learned something even if you have not please do let me know in the comments below hit the uh, subscribe to the channel hit the bell icon so you get notification whenever i upload a new video and that is it for now let's meet another video till then bye bye